Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today we will discuss about the tutorial for Pelton wheel. So we go for question number one. A nozzle for a Pelton wheel has pressure of 950 kilopascal with CV equal 0 0.96 and uh, 95. So the the wheel uh, the wheel diameter is three meter with four jets. So here we have a four jet here. So this turbine required to produce six megawatt power. Bucket degree is 165 degree and BR2 is equal to V0.9 BR1. Overall efficiency is 85% and hydraulic efficiency is 93%. So here if we have two type of uh, efficiency here, so we have uh, uh, 85% and 93% uh, here. So normally uh, the hydraulic efficiency is higher than overall because hydraulic efficiency here is only uh, reflect the the losses of energy transfer between the the first uh, time when water hit the bucket to the shaft. So so it is around about the what happened uh, uh, inside the wheel. So according to this question, we need to uh, we need to answer all of these uh, question: the speed ratio, the wheel speed in RPM, the flow rate, the jet diameter, mean the nozzle diameter here, and also the maximum hydraulic efficiency. Okay, so first, I hope you could draw the velocity triangle for Pelton wheel. So uh, we assume this is the wheel and this is the bucket. So uh, in actual condition, actually the water hit the one point here and then at the same time, so it will become the output. So but uh, to make sure that uh, our velocity triangle is clear, so we draw our velocity triangle like this. So, uh, so this is the real velocity, the actual velocity V1. So this is U1 and this is VR1. And then this is the actual velocity at outlet. So this is VR2 and this is U2. So and then, uh, as I said previously, in Pelton wheel, the value of U1 and U2 is actually the same because actually it hit at the same uh, point. Okay. So the first question about the speed ratio. So the speed ratio is actually the ratio between the wheel speed. So U is actually the wheel speed, another name for U, and V jet. So V jet here is the velocity of water that hit the bucket. Okay, because if you have a nozzle here, okay, if you have a nozzle here, so you may have velocity uh, at nozzle here and velocity that hit the bucket because if this nozzle if the water jet travel with certain distance so the velocity will become slower and slower so you must uh, understand the, the losses uh, in this phenomenon okay so according to the question here it says that the pattern wheel has pressure of 950 950 kilopascal here so and then it has cv 0 0.95 so according to this one so we assume that okay the the pressure here is actually pressure that occur at nozzle because you know when we have a pipe system here so when water flow inside a pipe it will develop pressure so you know you could use Bernoulli equation when you calculate flow inside a pipe so we, we need to determine the pressure inside the pipe, the velocity of water and the elevation. So I mean this pressure is actually occur uh, in the nozzle. So means that we convert the pressure here into the pressure head or into the energy head. So we know that pressure is rho gh. So we could calculate the h here by using this equation, I think you understand this one, and then we could get it is 96.84 meter. So what it's mean, what is the energy head mean? So it means that energy at this nozzle, okay, if you ask, if you use that energy to lift water, so you could lift 
until 96.84 meter. So that is the meaning of these uh, numbers. Okay. So means energy at this point is 96.84 meters. But when water travel from here to here, from the nozzle to this one, so water will lose its velocity. So it's become slower and slower. So means that the energy reduce. So how to calculate the, the energy that hit the bucket here? So we apply the idea of CV here. So and then, so we, we know that 96.84 meters is energy at the nozzle here. So this is nozzle. So and then when it travel here, so energy loss at certain portion. So we calculate the velocity of jet, mean the velocity that hit the bucket by using this equation. So we use CV square root 2 dH and this H is actually the head at this point. Okay, so and then we could get the velocity that hit the bucket is 41.41 meter per second. So and then, okay, we need to know, now we already know the velocity of jet here and we need to calculate what is the velocity of u so and then from the equation of hydraulic efficiency this one so we have 2u over v jet square v jet minus u in certain textbook they will use v1 because it reflects this actual velocity so we substitute all the value we found that the only unknown parameter is u here so we could uh, solve this equation and if we solve this equation, we found that it gives us a quadratic equation. So means that we will have two values. So in this calculation, okay, normally you will not have negative value. What you need to do is you need to check the best answer for the situation. Okay, for example, in this situation, we will have we have 22 meter per second and 19 meter per second. And what we need to do is we need to check the ratio. So for 22.167, we will get 0 0.535. And for 19, we get 0 0.465. So depends on these two value, we make decision that the value of this one is more realistic. Because uh, in our theoretical parts, in our lecture, previous uh, lecture, we show that the uh, optimum one, the, the ideal condition for the speed ratio is 0 0.5. So means it cannot exceed from 0 0.5. So means that the, this value is actually uh, cannot be, uh, it is impossible to happen. So we take this one as our answer. So we take uh, U is 19.247, we, we get the ratio is 0 0.465. So uh, we take this uh, because the speed ratio is realistic. So we go for the second one, the wheel speed in RPM. So the wheel speed can be calculated by using this equation. So uh, we want to calculate what is the value of N. So we uh, rearrange the equation. We substitute all the value and we get it is about 123 RPM. So, and then uh, we could calculate the flow rate here. So, this is the equation for overall efficiency. If you see here, the overall efficiency, it has flow rate term. So, instead of, uh, uh, instead of hydraulic efficiency, it only have the velocity. Again, this is showing that the hydraulic efficiency here is actually discussing the energy losses inside the blade. But the overall efficiency here, it's telling you the, the overall situation. That's why they have they show you about the, the total flow, flow rate. So we rearrange the equation. So and then we substitute the value. So here we have H effective. So please remember that we have a, a bucket here. So the water heat and the water comes out. So we need to know what is the energy heat when the water hit the bucket. However, we don't know the value, but we know the velocity, the jet velocity that hit the bucket. So how to convert the velocity into the energy hit? So we just use this equation. So if you see this equation, the V square over 2 GH 
is actually a part of Bernoulli equation. Or you could you could just imagine that to calculate the normally if we have uh, a tank and the water comes out here, the water jet here. If you still remember in your in your fluid mechanics one, we call it as Torricelli theorem. So we we calculate uh, the free jet as v is equal to square root two g h. So this is a very popular equation. So if we convert this equation, we could calculate the value of h here. So as v square over two g. So we substitute the velocity that hit the bucket. So it is become 87.4 meters. So and then we substitute the value of 87.4 here. So and then we could get the flow rate is 8.23 meter cube per second. So and then we need to calculate the jet diameter. So there are four jets in this pattern wheel. So, and then you need to understand that in this stage, we calculate the flow rate here. And this flow rate is actually reflect the power out, the, the power out divided by power in. So, the power in here means the total flow rate that flow inside the main pipe. So, main pipe, main pipe means we have a main pipe here. So, and then it dis distributes into four jets. Okay, so the flow rate here means the flow rate that enters the this main pipe, because this main pipe will reflect the total the 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 tot, the input of the flow rate the power in the power input, because it is not uh, suitable to say that only one jet here is a power input. So the power input means the total power come from from these four jets. So means it's the power come from the main pipe here. Okay, so this Q is actually the flow rate inside this main pipe. So and then, because we have four jets here, so uh, normally in Pelton wheel, it will uh, distribute the flow rate equally because it is weird when you have one jet with so powerful and you uh, put another jet with less power. So it's not contribute to the rotation of uh, pattern wheel actually. So we need to distribute the flow rate equally. So each jet will receive, will have same uh, output. So because we have four jets, we divide by four. So we have 2.058 meter cube per second. So this flow rate is actually the flow rate for each jet. So because we have one main pipe, so we have four jets here. So now 2.058 is the flow rate for this one jet. So and then to calculate the flow rate, okay, so, okay, the, the question is to, to calculate the jet diameter here. So as I said, in fluid mechanics too, sometimes you need to uh, solve the problem based on your fundamental uh, knowledge from fluid mechanics one and fluid mechanics two. Okay, so in this one, because we want to calculate the and uh, nozzle diameter means the diameter of this one. So we know that it is uh, the flow rate is 2.058. So and then we could calculate by using the, the flow rate equation. So Q is equal A V. So we have A is the cross, cross sectional area of this nozzle. And then the V jet is the velocity of jet that comes out from the uh, uh, from the uh, from the nozzle. So, and then we assume that the jet is uh, 41.45. So, uh, 41.41. So, we substitute in this one. Okay. However, if you use this one, okay, we know that uh, we could uh, rearrange this one. We have a D here. So, we bring out D here. So, and then we substitute the value of Q. So, and then the uh, we could get it is 0 0.0638 meter cube. So we could determine the value of diameter of the nozzle is 0 0.2526 meters. Next, uh, we calculate the maximum hydraulic efficiency. So we know that it's, it, this is the equation for the hydraulic uh, max, maximum hydraulic efficiency. You could see the, the derivation of this equation in 
our previous uh, lecture. So we substitute this one. So we substitute the value of K. So we substitute the value of theta here, which is 165 degree. So we could get the hydraulic maximum hydraulic efficiency is 93.5%.